hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to create the template for your already existing resources in your AWS okay so this is one of the unique video I know that I have not made any tutorials on uh, Terraform or cloud formation basically uh, infrastructure as a code tools but this is really helpful uh, which I have come across when I was working so this is one of the use case that helps you a lot as a DevOps engineer or a cloud engineer okay so the problem is so sometimes there will be one person in every team who goes and creates infrastructure manually so we cannot you know restrict them by do uh, restrict them by any chance right so we can tell them don't do it but they don't you know uh, they will they will go ahead and create resources on themselves you, within the consoles not via your uh, infrastructure as a cold tools or any other tools right so this is a really big headache in, while working in an organization so what to do when we have resources created already right so this video helps you with that okay so for this demonstration what I've done I went to my AWS console and I have created manually this EC2 instance with the name demo former 2 okay so now what the challenge is to import or to create a template for this resource that is demo former 2 in either cloud formation or terraform template right so to do that it will be a really you know big task I know that in terraform we have import tools uh, import uh, function we can use those things but one more easy way or one another easy solution you can do is by using former tool okay so this is one of the open source tool so I'm going to talk about this one so this is really simple what you want to do is you just have to install this Chrome extension okay and you need to provide some details for this one and this will scan your entire account and it will give you all the resources in it so you can export or create a template for whichever the resource that you want okay so let us start doing that for this particular EC2 okay so I have created this EC2 demo former 2 using my console not using any other uh, infrastructure as a code tools okay so let us do that first things first go to former dot former 2.com okay so this is an open source tool I'll tell you one more way okay so please wait till the end please watch this video completely only then you will be able to understand okay so the first things that you need to do is to install former to helper for your chrome or your mozilla or your microsoft edge or whatever the you know uh, browser that you are using okay i'll install it for chrome as this is my chrome browser i'll just install it okay so here if you see you just have to add this extension to chrome okay i'll just say add extension this will add the extension for your chrome okay so that is done now okay so here first step is done introduction is done next let us go to the next step here you need to provide your IAM credentials for your account okay so here if you read this paragraph here you have to create an IAM credential basically access key secret key with only read only access is fine okay so this only requires read only access do not give uh, full access as that will be a security concern so to tackle security there is one more uh, best way I will uh, talk about that at the end but wait till that okay so you, you should give read only access and provide the access key and secret access key here okay so let's do that let me go back to my EC2 console sorry AWS console and open up IAM so I'll just click on IAM and open uh, IAM uh, here okay so let me go to users and let me click on add users so don't worry uh, even if even if I am exposing my um, credentials here I will be deleting it uh, before this video comes on YouTube okay so I'll just say former user okay and I'll just give access keep and programmatic permissions okay next go to permissions 
here we are only attaching the read only permission so the read only permission will be at the end all the way at the end so i think you you can search here in the search bar i'll just just type in read only access okay now if you go all the way down i think uh, here somewhere uh, i saw that um, the search is the is not working perfectly here so you will have to look for read only access okay let me uh, go through that very slowly okay here it is read only access select that one click on next if you want you can add a tag else leave that as it is go with this and click on create user okay so this will create an user here with the access key and secret access key so you can view the access key one after creating it but if you forget to download the secret access key it will you will not be able to see it later okay so let me copy this access key first and go back to my former tool here i'll paste the access key here and i'll also copy the secret access key here from this one i'll just copy this and i'll paste it here okay so that's all you have to do okay so you have given your access key you have given your secret access key okay next thing so if you see here it will display logged in as former user at my account number right so if you see here uh, the username is former user right so that confirms that we are good okay so let me close this one and let me go back to my former tour so we have added the credentials next click on continue parameters if you want to add parameters you can go ahead and add it but it is optional okay so if you see here it is optional next click on settings so here you can you know provide all the settings uh, like uh, what is the programming language that you want if you are exporting to a javascript or a typescript or a python if you are using cdk basically so you can uh, specify all those things here okay so uh, i don't want to go in detail about this one okay so i'll just click on scan account so what it will do it will scan your entire account and it will display all the resources that are in your account okay so after that after scanning is done after displaying is done so what you can do you will know right which resources was created using console so you will you will have that so with that you can export it to a uh, terraform template or you can also create a cloud formation template okay so now the scanning is done let me go to my compute so because this ec2 instance if you see here right now i think we have two okay so this is first one and this is the second one okay so this these ec2 instances were created manually by using console so let me go back to my um, former here so i'll click on ec2 here if you see you will have all the resources here mentioned in this former tool okay so if you want to export or if you want to convert this particular resource uh, demo former to into your uh, cloud formation template or terraform template you can select that one you, there is a checkbox here you can select that one click on add selected and here you will have an icon to generate it okay so how much ever resource you want you can click on that and you can generate the template now if i click on generate what happens a cloud formation template will be generated right so if you see here this is the cloud formation template also if you want to uh, you know create a terraform template you just have to click on terraform okay so later on after getting this terraform file you can just go ahead and deploy it and also alter your state files in terraform right so this will help you when uh, when the resources were created manually okay so this is one way so this is one of the uh, way that you can use to generate your uh, resources that are already existing and convert them into a template okay so now the problem you might ask is that we are providing the access key and secret access key so is that secure so you might ask me that so is that really secured enough so can i trust this tool you might ask so the uh, one biggest solution for that is so this former tool that you are seeing right now it is open source it is free for everyone to use so what you can do is there is a separate 
github repo for that if you see here i opened my uh, github so what you can do is you can you know clone this repository and you can host it on your own ec2 instance okay so create an ec2 instance host this uh, entire application on your ec2 instance and you can you know convert whatever the resources that you have into an terraform or a cloud formation or even a cdk template okay so this is this is how you can do it okay so i'll also uh, show you how to uh, host this one on your own ec2 instance so to do that what i'm doing is so i have my ec2 instance so this is my ec2 instance right so i've already created it and this is an ubuntu ec2 instance so what i've done is i've connected to that ec2 instance okay so let me uh, zoom in a bit so i hope this is clearly visible to you so now you can install any of the web server on this so my preferred one is for uh, you know uh, you can install apache 2 for this one okay so the command to install apache 2 is uh, this one and let me paste it here sudo apt install apache 2 hyphen y that means you are confirming let me hit enter so this will basically go ahead and install your apache 2 okay so next is we have to clone this repository i'll just open this one and i'll get my https link okay so let me get inside my uh, ec2 okay it is done let me clear my screen the next thing that you need to do is you need to clone that repo so git clone and provide the link to that okay so i'm providing the link to it and i'll say hit enter okay so it will start downloading all the repo uh, entire repository inst into my ec2 instance okay so it is done now so let me type in ls hyphen lrt okay so here we have former 2 right so we have also installed our apache 2 right so that is also installed so now let us check the status of apache 2 sudo system ctl status apache 2 okay so let me hit enter so it is active and it is running okay so since one minute ago okay so that confirms that apache 2 is running fine so now what we have to do is we will have to move this file i will just uh, we will have to move this folder this entire repository into our web www right so that is where we can get the content right so apache 2 as a default page or as a default html page we will have to move this one to that particular file okay so how to do that so let us see what's inside um, this uh, slash var slash www slash html and i'll hit enter okay so here let me type in ls hyphen lrt so here we have index.html file right so what i'll do is i'll just remove this index.html okay so let me go back so what i'll do is um let me go back to my uh, previous okay and i'll directly delete it from there okay so what i'll do is i'll just say cd it enter so right now i have my tool installed here okay so what i'll do is i'll just say uh, sudo rm i'll just mention the path okay so slash var slash www slash html slash index dot index dot html right so let me hit enter so now that removed the index dot html page okay now the next task is to move this former to to this uh, location okay so to do that i'll just say sudo mv former former to okay to what location i'll just copy this location this entire location i'll copy and i'll paste it okay let me hit enter now if you go back and copy your public ip address and you know search here in the chrome you should be able to see that page okay formal 2 so let me get inside so formal 2 
whatever the application that we had right previously so that tool will be available on your ec2 instance right so if you see here this is up and running for you okay now you can add your credentials so because it is really safe now because your it is inside your own ec2 instance and you have full control over your ec2 instance right so make sure when you are adding this one make sure that in your security group port number uh, 80 is allowed http port so that is what it is uh, working on right so without that it will throw an error right so also don't go with t2.micro because if your infrastructure is huge it will take too much time and it might crash also so better go with um, t2.medium or t2.large so uh, so that it will not crash okay i hope you like the video so that's it for today's video uh, if you're liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i'll see you in the next one